Hey everybody, good afternoon and welcome back. I made it here in uh, Richfield, Utah. It's been a change of plan, so what I'm gonna do now, uh, since this load delivers on Tuesday, which is like three days away, uh, there's gonna be another driver that's gonna come. He's also running out of hours like I am. His recap hours are worse than mine. Um, I get back 10 hours tonight. That gives me a total of 14 hours to drive. I'm going to take his load, deliver it tomorrow night um, uh, north of uh, Denver uh, at Shamrock. He's going to take this one and he's going to sit here. He's going to stay here while uh, he's doing his 34 hour reset. Uh, So that way his load will get delivered on time with with me. Um, yeah, so uh, ah. yeah, they called and asked if if I don't mind doing that, which I'll do it, you know, because I mean I was just gonna T call this at the yard, right? And pick up, you know, my other load you know tomorrow night at midnight uh that's gonna be at the yard it's going uh going to uh lincoln um uh, nebraska then from lincoln i'll go over to um uh fremont nebraska pick up my load that's going to mayor loma yeah so what I'm doing now is showing you guys uh, what it's like, what we do when we drop, you know, trailers and all of that stuff. So you guys are getting the behind the scenes type thing here. <laughs> Using one hand while I'm talking to you guys. You see how the road is all screwed up from all the heavy loads, heavy trucks melt when the asphalt in the summertime melts you know sinks in so what i'm going to do is start my truck that way the air can raise the truck and then i'll extend the landing gear a little bit more so that way it'd be easier for me to get off from underneath the truck i mean the trailer and it'd be easy for him when he hooks up to it to um to hook up to the trailer so, as you guys can see right now, the airbag is inflating, raising the tractor. Now, what I'm going to do now is fully extend my landing gear to where it'll be easy. And also, we have a button in there with that where we, we can lower the chassis on the, on the truck. That way, we can still get out from underneath it that way. But me being a team player, I'm... Uh, going about it this way now that this is uh taken care of gotta go underneath here uh, pull the kingpin handle release it unlock the truck and the trailer now you see now it's uh unlocked another way you can be sure that it's unlocked by looking see up in there okay that shows that the locking jaws are open all right so now I'm gonna go back here make sure the load is still secure still locked and that will be it I'll pull off from underneath the trailer I still have room to play with back here but yeah, see, uh, so all of us, we, we all have, damn, that one's supposed to happen. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay. All right, still secure. Uh, I didn't do all of that, but. <laughs> all right, hey, see, see how heavy these loads are and the ground, you know, when it's hot. So much weight, we talking 80,000 pounds, you know, uh, for the whole, combination of the truck and trailer <clears throat> so 
Next, well, I'm gonna put the my hands in the dummy. Ah. Put them in here for right now until James arrives. Last I heard, he was uh, passing Vegas, which is only like three hours out, and he has four hours on his clock, so he should get here. Wanted to stop at Beaver, but uh, he told us all that he can make it, that he think he can make it. So, I didn't mind stopping at Beaver. That's where I refuel that. All right, so what are we doing now? Uh, all right, now, let me move this cord out of you guys' way. Now, okay, I'm going to lower the cab. ECS. Now, I don't know if you guys felt the little jerk, but, uh, yeah. The tractor lowered. Now, all right, let's see if we can slide off from underneath without anything, any issues. All right. All right, piece of cake. <laughs> All right, oh. and once again, I'm at the Flying J. Now let's go look at what we did. Oh. All right, now see, piece of cake. Locking jaw is still open. Ready for the next trailer to lock in and catch on. Satellite dish secure, everything's secure. I need to get two more low bars. I usually like to have four instead of two, but the two are in the trailer. So the temperature and everything is still set. Negative 10 is where they want it. Right now it's negative 13. Wouldn't want it being F. So we're good. So now I get to kick back. Kick back and do some uh, housekeeping on my floor. That's why I hate walking and stuff like that. I might have to get a carpet because see what that does to my floor. But that's just only the driver's side. So, just wanted to share that with you guys, show you guys some behind the scenes type stuff. I mean, normally you guys all see trucks on the highway but I guess you guys from those of you that not familiar with uh, this line of work in this industry I uh, showed you guys this to uh, show you guys to explain what all we have to do to unlock the kink pin you know the fifth wheel and to lower the truck to get off the underneath lower the landing gear so all of that stuff you guys will learn all that once you uh get in school or try to come out here or whatever so now on that note um, may pull a little bit forward because I'm going to raise the truck alright now get my baby back up to the right height alright I don't know if you guys felt that or saw that okay we're back at our regular light. And once again, you always pull that yellow knob, that yellow knob. Blah, knob. All right, that's your parking brake. It's not like a car where you just put it in uh, neutral and get out. A lot of people have done it. I saw that happen numerous times when the drivers totally forgot and they're parked on an incline. Guess what's gonna happen? The truck rolls back into somebody else, takes off somebody's hood. So, uh, just wanted to share that with you guys, give you guys an update what's going on. Switching loads here in, um, in uh, Richfield, Utah. Uh, turn this TV down. I'm watching uh, John Wick part, uh, I think that's part two. No, that's John Wick one, and then after that one, John Wick two comes on. Love to have this TV. Gotta, gotta love it. I mean, there's sports on. I'm gonna tune it in. I'm gonna channel surf in a minute, but 
just want to show that with you guys and um, kick off my shoes. Later I'll go inside over there and uh, shower once again because uh, I'm allergic to dirt. Um, all right, I want to know you guys enjoy your Saturday. I'll be here until tomorrow morning. Time now is uh, 1.46 local time. And I'm gonna show you guys. Um, right now, it's all I have left on my cycle, on my 70, all right? This here, the four, out of my 14 hour work day, seven hours, 27 minutes, all right? Eight hours for a break. 547 of driving but all of that stuff doesn't count because why out of 70 hours during my work week I only have one hour and 41 minutes now show you guys this okay later on at midnight I get 10 hours 24 minutes what that does is add on to this so that gave me 12 hours and two minutes or something like that so i can take his load and deliver it since it delivers tomorrow night uh, and i'm only uh seven hours away from denver because uh, i still got to go over the rocky mountains uh forecast call for snow there's snow up there now uh, but it'll be all right chains aren't required just yet knock on wood but i'll be heading out of here tomorrow uh, while James, the other guy, he'll be here doing his 34-hour uh, clock reset. So he got plenty of time with this load since it delivers, you know, Tuesday morning. And here it is, Saturday. Well, I just want to show you that, share that with you guys. And um, you got to get in the back, kick back, watch John Wick. Um, drink some coffee, chocolate-flavored coffee, and it tastes really good. Gotta love the pilot. But, um, well, the loves has it too. Um, well, see you guys. I'm rambling off at the mouth too long and I'm hungry. So, <laughs> see you guys later on. Uh, have a great Saturday.